So when you talk about treatments of IBD, I think we group them into um, sort of biologic or not, the way I view it. Uh, I'll start with the not because it's a little easier. Uh, the not would be corticosteroids, um, somewhat of a mainstay of IBD treatment, particularly ulcerative colitis, just given the urgency of getting those symptoms under control, and they work quickly. And about 85% of patients respond quite nicely to steroids, uh, especially if you're hospitalized. IV steroids sort of are the only thing sometimes that can control the symptoms when someone's going to the restroom every half an hour uh, or is up all night because they're having constant spasm of their rectum, giving them urgency. Um, we must get something on quickly, and our, not all our treatments work as quickly as steroids. So sometimes within 24, 48 hours, patients are feeling a lot better. But there's a lot of side effects, and steroids are only a short-term solution, and there always needs to be an exit strategy when you start steroids, meaning immediately you need to think about what am I what's my companion treatment as a steroid-sparing strategy. The other sort, and that's, I view steroids as anti-inflammatory. They don't go after the biology of the disease. They're just sort of band-aiding the inflammation. Another band-aid of inflammation would be the mesalamine-based products or 5-ASAs, um, for which there's multiple mesalamines out there. All of them sort of open up in the intestinal tract and depending if it's pH release or time-dependent release or colon-only release or the way it travels through the colon, Bottom line is, is that they provide, again, a local, almost topical anti-inflammatory effect. Now, there are no mesalamines approved for Crohn's, but for some strange reason, mesalamines are still used for Crohn's disease, often as first line, which is unacceptable because unless you have very mild, very local inflammation in a Crohn's patient, like what we call no, no deep ulcerations or no breaks in the mucosa, fine. You want to use some mesalamine, but that's a 10-15% of patients. Most Crohn's patients have ulcers that penetrate beyond the mucosa. So to use a drug that only works on the mucosa is counterintuitive. That's why there's no drug with mesalamine approved for Crohn's, but there's many approved for ulcerative colitis. And that makes sense because UC is a mucosal disease. So we can all wrap our head around mesalamines in UC, mesalamine in Crohn's, there's no rule. Um, and in the vein of, t of steroids, there's also something topical steroids where again, using pH release, they'll release specifically in the end of the ileum. Um, and so those are the kind of the anti-inflammatory steroid based. 